Hey everybody, this is Sean Y, and I have not given my opinion on this Ebola um, outbreaks, or rather it is an outbreak, or rather it's a media hoax. Um, you know, I've talked, I guess I have mentioned it in a little bit in some of my other videos, but I want to get into it a little deeper, because the more that comes out, the more I'm swayed, maybe not Ebola, but something in Africa to start uh, basically depopulating what they consider uh, useless people, you know. But the more I look into this propaganda, and the more you kind of go back and look and all the propaganda that's been thrown on us through Hollywood, through the movies. Uh, I'm and and then you see the propaganda about the the vaccines. All right, I'm I'm starting to really believe that this is all fear mongering. It's it's, it's almost as if they do not have to actually release anything they just got to make you believe that there is a virus out there killing people so let's get into this a little bit and just see what i mean um i came across this video and some other people have done videos on this you know i know so but this one is uh says man thought dead from ebola comes back to life so this is a whole zombie thing and you know it's no coincidence that uh we got the walking dead about to start back up next week you know we got we got so many shows on right now it's it's real time propaganda fear mongering at the same time that these tv shows are airing they're doing this on the media too so you're getting the fear mongering and this put into your head and brainwashing non-stop all as, as you're watching TV okay so you got the walking dead you got the strain you got the last ship I mean just it goes on and on with how you're being just brainwashed into believing that this uh, basically the world's gonna end due to this viruses okay but anyway, into the video here. Um, they're, they're busy spraying down the area where the person is. They're going to wrap it in plastic and take away. But I was talking to someone in the community, and they had someone sick here yesterday. They didn't think it was Ebola. They thought it was something else, and they called for help, and no one came. They called again, and no one came. Okay, first of all, if this person is thought to be dead from Ebola, what, what's with the mass amount of people sitting around? Okay, yeah, this guy, this guy is holding people back. He's all protected, but he's holding back people that are in plain clothes, and I, I don't know. I don't know if this guy's came in contact with this thing here yet, but if he has, why is he, you know... He may be okay, but if he if he's contaminated, he's gonna be contaminating all these other people too. So, you know, this is all obviously staged propaganda. Okay, but let's look at it. And not until that he died, a 37 year old man. Not until he died did they come. And then they called, and within one hour, I mean, <laughs> look at this patch job. <laughs> so, so this guy's. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. The burial team is here. Uh, this is the place right now where if you die of Ebola, they're very quick for you. If you're living and you need help, there's really nowhere to go. He's not dead. Look, he's not. He's not dead. They were wrapping him up to take him away, but he's alive. He's moving his arm. They almost oh, took him wow. away. Look at this. And they're just over there like, yay! To the crematorium. Look, 
Look at this. And looking right at the on. camera. I don't know where they could take him. They're, they're dancing, smiling. smiling. To treat him. Now the first responders, the ambulance is here. They're trying to get them to stop to take him and to somewhere where he can get some care. Yeah, but it's not clear yet. Whether, are they here for him or they're driving by? <laughs> <laughs> driving. They're blocked in. What do you mean, are they driving by? They're not driving anywhere. They're going to take him. The problem that they have here is that there's a lot more... Videotaping this. No concern whatsoever that this guy has Ebola. Because he doesn't. This is all a stage act. This is propaganda city right here. This is this is insanity. Alright? I'm kind of going through this video like I'm, you know, I don't script anything out. I lay some things out I want to talk about, so bear with me here. Okay, so there's that. Then you got this one here where this uh, news freelancer was supposedly uh, got Ebola. Okay, let's just... Check Freelance this journalist Ashoka worked on this piece for Vice News just days ago. NBC News hired Check him on out. Tuesday to work. Check this out. You think it's a coincidence that they got him doing this pose here? You know, he's, he's getting the whole one eye symbol. You know, obvious. You know, Lady Gaga here, just like that. It's it's no different. You know, it, it's, it's, this is so evil, what's going on right now. I, I really can't even put it in the words. So, you know, this this has been in the cards, literally. Been in the cards. <laughs> this this is the Illuminati game. I believe it's like from 1995, I believe. And most people know about these by now because of, you know, over here, got the towers being hit and blown up exactly or where they supposedly hit by planes and I say supposedly because um, definitely do not believe the planes were used but that's a whole different video we got the Pentagon right here blown up you know but right here number one epidemic quarantines okay this is 1995 we got flesh eating bacteria Kind of reminds me of that uh, drug that supposedly people are taking over, uh, I forget where it was, maybe UK or something like that. And it's literally eating their flesh. But it's so addicting, they say that people are still doing it anyway. Uh, is, is that a real thing? I don't know. I mean, could it be as big of propaganda and hoax as this? It could be. Could it be that the CIA put this stuff out on the streets to kind of depopulate the homeless people? Uh, yeah, it could be that too. So, but either way, it seems that everything that's going on has literally been in these cards. From the oil spills, you know, like over here, and to oil spill. Yeah, this World War Three. Uh, we're on the brink of that right now. It's not already in it. All right, and let's go into uh, this. The scary part is this is a uh, they they got trial for vaccines right now. They've never had a Ebola vaccine ever. Now all of a sudden they got one in trials. This is what should scare you. Okay. This is why I don't believe that they have to have an Ebola outbreak for real. because They just got to make you think there is one. So when they push this vaccine out, I believe this is what's going to do the damage. This is what's going to really cause epidemic. That's my opinion. You know, I, I've... You see all the propaganda in the movies. Like, uh... This movie Quarantine, you know, uh, it goes from 28 Days Later, I Am Legend, World War Z, Resident Evil. I mean, 
cabin fever. It goes on and on. And a lot of these have to do with, uh, like, especially this quarantine, too. You know, had something to do with somebody got infected, was on a plane, brought it over, and then they quarantined off the, the terminal. You know, a lot of this has to do with patient zero getting infected, getting on a plane or something, spreading it, and and the next thing you know, it's it's spreading throughout the world. They're they're using the same script on the news as they do in these Hollywood movies because what you're watching is a Hollywood production through the media, and it's gonna get you into fear to where you run out and get these vaccines that are more than likely going to be the ones that kill you or give you uh, a virus that cause this epidemic. I mean, how can you take something like an, an Ebola vaccine and rush it? And that's exactly like this article right here is talking about. Um... I had hope as well. The outbreak is over until we have vaccine at hand. But now with the developments in the last week, I don't think so. This outbreak will most likely take months until it will stop. And therefore, I guess we have to hurry with the vaccine. Maybe it will help. Then you got propaganda in here. Uh, people are dying, says Winnipeg woman. This is, you know... Propaganda article right here. You know, basically saying, I'm frustrated. I'm discouraged. There's no words to describe how we feel. There is a hope, but the hope is so far out of reach. And this hope that this, they're talking about is this vaccine. See, they're, we're just begging for it. You know, there's people dying. It's like, it's right there. And it's talk, talking about, uh, it's so far out of reach because we have, People have time for politics. Oh, we'll just forget all the trials and long-term effects something like this might have. Or even short-term effects would we'll just just give us the stuff and pump us with it. We, we want the vaccine. You know, and that's exactly the mentality I see some people on Facebook having. They're going to be the first ones to rush out and go get shot up with these vaccines. They get every one of them. And then they then they wonder why they got health issues or why their kids got health issues and it's it's really disgusting. Yeah, in my opinion, this is this is the game. This is fear monger. Uh, don't even need a real real outbreak, just convince people it's real, and then they you you run to the vaccines. So you can you can bet your dollar that I will not be running to get no Ebola vaccine. Does that mean that they will not drop some kind of bioweapon on us? I, I think they will. I really do. And it will it come in the form of these vaccines. Like I said, it's it's hard to tell what these psychopaths will do. And I also want to get into the, you know, what does what does some of these other movies have in common? It's almost like this is setting up for the mentality not only to get ready for zombie type outbreaks, where you know, like uh, this Ebola and maybe like uh, rabies type maybe mixture where it, you know, people literally do go crazy, start tearing people up, you know, lose control of their minds, um, type of outbreak, but also preparing people for, uh, the mark of the beast and, and the world that is going to come. Cause I do believe that the mark of the beast is not only like a chip type thing, but I do believe it's a chip or something that will actually alter the human DNA. You know, that's where getting into the transhumanism and gene altering and, you know, the Bible says, as in the days of Noah, well, everything was corrupted. And when that word corrupted doesn't mean every, it was all about sin. The DNA of the people um, the, the plants, 
the animals, everything was literally corrupted and altered from what God had made us. So the, the devil and these fallen angels were lit these literally ch altering the creation of God. Now that's why I had that's why every that's why the world had to be destroyed because it was like a virus, literally, like we're talking about in the movies, spread through the whole world that had altered the DNA. And I believe that's what is coming again. And that's why you will not be forgiven. That's why God said you're cut off if you take this mark of the beast. Because you are willingly going to take this. And it's going to alter your DNA. And to a point where I literally think it's going to turn you into something non-human. So it gets deep, very spiritual. But I mean, if you look at Resident Evil, World War Z... Uh, the strain, you get infected, you turn into a, a vampire type thing. I mean, it's it's all over. Propaganda is all over in these movies. It's telling you, I believe, what's, what is to come in this world. And you know, that if you do not accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, that, that's the world that's in store for you and you know I say that because I, I truly believe that you know God's not gonna put his people through that through his wrath and that is part of the wrath that is part of this the seven-year tribulation is all God's wrath that is all supernatural stuff going on I do videos on that if you want to check out my rapture series I'll put that in there because there's a lot of disinformation out there about pre-tribulation rapture and and that's a whole different deal but we're not going to have to go through that we're not going to be here to take the mark of the beast okay and that's a whole that's a spiritual thing that is supernatural and it gets yeah, that gets deep. So I'm going to stop there, but I do believe it is all connected, every bit of it. So I'm going to leave it at that. Sorry I rambled a little bit. Um, I said I don't really lay this stuff out. I just kind of talk with my heart and just kind of let whatever I'm going to say kind of come out. So thanks, everybody, for uh, watching. If you got anything you uh, want to add, anything I should talk about, any questions, any comments, uh, feel free to leave them. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, and God bless.